All right, for this discussion, we're going to discuss brass fittings. One of the things that we do very commonly at the shop is to make hoses of various lengths for our customers. I'm not going to be talking about the actual making of the hose as much as the threads and the connections themselves. There are two connections that are thread types that are used in the propane industry. One is pipe thread. Pipe thread is just like it sounds. Water pipe uh, uses pipe thread. And what makes it unique is it is tapered. What I mean by that, the top of the threads are thinner or less wide than the bottom of the threads, narrower than the bottom of the threads. Impossible to see here, but it's narrower at the top, wider at the bottom. That mates up to pipe thread also. And when we are connecting them, what we will find is that as they are connecting, they are going to get tighter and tighter and tighter and harder to turn to the point that you can't turn it anymore. That's what it depends on to make a seal. So this is kind of rudimentary, but this would be the male end, and this would be the female end. When we're using pipe thread, we must use Teflon tape and or pipe dope, because the seal that it makes, depending on it getting tighter, you always have to have Teflon tape or pipe dope in order for it to make a perfect seal. Now I'm going to move to what they call flare fittings. The difference of a flare fitting is that its end, the threads, first of all, are straight up and down. And the end will have a bevel on it. It's that bevel that is making the seal. Probably can't see it, but if we look inside of this hose, again, a very popular one sold to replace somebody's barbecue, the end that will be on the barbecue will be this flare. This happens to be a 3 8 flare. That's the size of it, and again, very, very popular. So when we're making this connection, we do not use any Teflon tape or pipe dope. In fact, it would most likely cause a leak rather than help a leak. What it's depending on is the bevel meeting the bevel on the inside of the female side. While I would never say this to anybody, you will most likely get a, a seal even tightening it just hand tight. You do want to give it a little bit of a turn, but this is not something that you can over tighten as compared to the pipe uh, threads. So flare fittings are always used in gas, be it propane or natural gas. This one is a little unique in that it has a 3 8 flare on this end, but on this end, that is a female pipe thread. So a use for it might be that you've got a, what's called a stub out coming out of your, your house or, or the barbecue or the patio heater has a metal pipe on it and it is that metal pipe that would go into the female pipe thread. Then on the opposite side, and, and this is used on the patio heaters, very, very commonly on the patio heaters, they will have this set up to be able to accept the regulator on with a sealer that doesn't require the homeowner to tape or dope or do any of that. Finally, I'm going to talk about the female end, and this is one that we would put onto a hose. Again, this is flare, female flare. It can be seen by looking inside, and you will see the reverse bevel. And on this end, this is what's called a barb. So this is a 3 8 female quarter-inch barb fitting. It goes into quarter-inch 
hose. That is the most common hose that we uh, make for customers. We also sell these in 3 8 barb, and we sell them in half inch female, not as common. But the idea here is that the hose will swivel. So when I put this on the end of the hose, it's going to look just like this. And here's the advantage. Now it will turn and swivel. So if this is fixed on my barbecue, I don't want to have to take my hose and go like this to be able to, to thread it onto the uh, connection. Instead, I'm able to just turn here and it will swivel on. In fact, that is another great reason for always using a flare fitting rather than a pipe thread, because if this was the pipe thread and we had it into a um, end of a hose and it was going into, and this happens to be what they call quarter inch pipe thread, um, and it was going into the hose, in order for me to put this on, I would have to flip the hose and flip the hose in order to have it thread into itself. So we'll leave it off at that. There's a lot more to learn. And uh, I've asked you to take notes as part of this because we are going to be testing you on it.